macaroni filling water in the pot. Step is to let the water heat. Now the water should be boiling. Step is to get the mac the craft macaroni and cheese. Box. A good about a good time to add our craft macaroni in the pot. All of the Foster's cooking, find a strainer in your kitchen. In the boil. Hmm? Now well, it's really starting to boil. The tenth step is to get to put in four tablespoons of country crock shed spread butter in the measuring cup. Cooking. One. One teaspoon. One two. Tablespoon, sorry. Two tablespoon. Three tablespoons. Oh, that's too too big. Half of that, half of that. Four. Tablespoon. Now this is the hard part. Have make sure you have an adult to pour the macaroni into the strainer. Sounds like a cowbell. around in the strainer a little bit to get the excess water out. Next, pour the macaroni back into the pot. Spoon if you need to get the other more macaroni out from the strainer and into the pot. to get your measuring cup. That, the eighth step is to get the country crock shed spread butter and milk. The tenth step is to get to put in four tablespoons of country crock shed spread butter in the measuring cup. Cooking. One. One teaspoon. One two. Tablespoon, sorry. Two tablespoon. Three tablespoons. Oh, that's too too big. Half of that, half of that. Four. I want to buy tablespoon. Oh, my cheese. Mm -mm -mm. the macaroni is still warm, you want to add the butter so it melts. Get a spoon. Yeah. Seventh step is to pull out the cheese mix. <gasps> I made it up. Make sure you stir it really good so all the butter melts. Finally, you can add the milk. Please. Okay. Okay. Stir the cheese. Get the macaroni gets nice and cheesy. 
is actually, actually macaroni and cheese. And it mixed in really well. And stir once more. The good part of being a chef is that you get to try the food before you serve it. Mmm, ah, good. At the end of the day, you deserve a treat for doing a good job.